So it's 5.30, I call this meeting to order. This meeting is being videotaped, and since he's here, we'll start with new business, our new animal control officer, Kyle Dragon. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You wanna come on up and have a seat? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Tell us a little about what your hope is. What your um, So my hope is that to try and make animal control a more, I'll say professional organization for not only Gill, but the other six towns as well. Um, in the past, there's been some great animal control officers the towns have had, but they've been part-time animal control officers because a single town's been unable to sustain a person for that position at a livable rate. So mm -hmm. this is an entirely new position, so we're hoping to move forward and make it a decent position. I wanted to come out tonight to meet with the board and to get an idea if you guys have any problem areas or issues you, you want to see addressed or to answer any questions you guys might have. There's an animal out of control <laughs> under the table here. <laughs> She's trying to get a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of any problem areas in town. I think it's probably more a question for our police. I would think yeah. you know, who patrol the area. Yeah. It will be nice to yeah. take the pressure off the police yes. that they've had to do any responses to any yeah, kind of animal control in the past. And I assume you've met with at least Sergeant Bassett by I now. I have now. actually not okay. been able to catch up with him as of yet. He's busy right now, but yes. But they are on my list of people okay. to try to catch up with. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ray must have your contact information. Yep, yep. Okay. yep. I actually have, in case you guys have anything, I can give you guys each one of my cards. Yeah, good. That'd be perfect. Good to have on hand. So is there anything uh, you'd like us to know or um, anything we should expect out of the, you know, that maybe out of the ordinary or not out of the ordinary? No, um, I'm looking at, just so everything's transparent, uh, this this fall, sit, uh, working with all the towns. Uh, some towns have great bylaws in regards to animals. Other towns have no bylaws in regards to animals. So we're going to be looking at working with the towns to try and create a cohesive and current set of bylaws mm -hmm. uh, that we're hoping to get onto the floors for the annual meetings next year. Good. Nice. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know with most of the other things that we've regionalized, we've tried to have similar rules. Right. Um, whether it's adopting state codes, like in building codes and whatnot. But mm -hmm. Anything we're doing with public health, we try to get all 10 towns or 13, if you include the nursing, Somewhat to adopt similar. To make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it easier for the customers. It also makes it easier for the, in right. yeah. the enforcer. Yeah, um, enforcing the same regulations yeah. from right. town Not to town. Not trying yeah. to remember. No matter where you are, you know that yeah. it's this amount or it's this right. code or whatever. Right. Right. And how many towns are uh, signed up at this point? Seven altogether. Yep. That signed on originally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, With the ability to take more on? Uh, that's the hope, mm -hmm. is that we're going to get the seven going. And I, my suspicion is that this is more of the pilot program. The other towns, much like when they started the regional dog shelter, several towns signed on, and then once they realized, oh, that works, other towns signed in. Mm -hmm. Does anybody remember how many towns originally signed on to the regional dog shelter and how many there are now? Just to draw any parallels that seven have signed up? I, with the I bet the original was probably in that seven or eight range. Yep. And I have no clue how many are involved now. I want to say it's the majority of the Franklin County most towns. The I, county. I think yeah. there's like almost 20 towns that have mm. signed on now. Yeah. yeah. So we might look for the same kind of growth with the yeah. animal control officer, which would make sense. You know, there's, yeah. there's usually six, seven, eight towns that are willing to, you know, jump out front and take a chance on something. And then yeah. when the success is shown, others come on. Good. Like everybody said, welcome aboard. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions from either one of you guys for our new animal control officer? How many towns do you work with? Uh, altogether seven. Seven, okay. Currently. 
this side of Greenfield, I have Gill and Northfield. Okay. Yep. Okay. How far west do you go? Uh, Monroe. Okay. That's far enough west. Same distance I go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming in. No problem. Yeah. Have nice, a nice, to meet you. nice to meet you all. Me too. Nice thanks. to meet you, Kyle. Good to see you, Kyle. Ray, how would you like to do it as far as jumping back to old business or? Yeah. Yep. And uh, so we've got minutes ready for June 10th and August 19th. Motion to accept. Second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, then. That was a deep sigh. <laughs> All the animal control officers gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she was holding in, <laughs> I hope she stays that way for a little while longer. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make some sort of comment like it's, it's probably a good thing to have one of the dragons looking after her animals. Whatever she was holding in, she didn't hold on to it. <laughs> nope. Anyways, right. project um, <laughs> no project updates. A new update there. <laughs> Wasn't just a sigh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the fire no. department tanker truck, the seller doesn't have a ship date yet, but let me know on Friday. The pump has been tested. The tires are ready to be put on. They are waiting for the hose bed cover and have the DOT inspection done. And how long has it been since we sent the deposit? They got the deposit a week ago Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. so That's not bad progress no. for a week. No, no and he, had to, he expected around 30 days, so mm -hmm. he's yeah. got a lot done in the first week. Yeah. Good. That's good. Uh, highway superintendent search. You get the ready for review and hopefully approval job description in front of you. Um, we had a total of six applicants. The preliminary screening committee is meeting the end of this week to do first round interviews with the hope of forwarding out two or more names to the select board for finalist interviews. gotten a look at the, mm -hmm. the latest draft or the final draft I guess I'll call it well it's latest until we approve it yeah that's right I was just waiting for a motion I was very involved in the writing of it so I thought I'd wait for Greg to look it over yeah I just want to give one more yep. one more glance but I'll make a motion to accept well, second looks, looks pretty good yeah, yeah, I, think I think Tom comments. and Tom and Ray have it's very thorough, yeah. for sure. Tom and Ray have put in a lot of input with it, including the part that I started with. So I think it's been a good progress, good process to get to this. Yeah, I agree. So we've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 What's availability for interviews next week to do the finalist interviews? I'm thinking it could be accomplished in one one night like we did last year for the uh, laborer position.
Monday is yeah, okay with me. Monday yeah, and Monday. Tuesday are both okay with me. Monday is not with me. And then Friday's actually okay. Tuesday's okay with me. Wednesday's not okay with me. Yeah, Thursday I'm unavailable, but... Tuesday? Tuesday yeah, I'm Tuesday's good. good with me. It's the 10th. Yep. Okay. Tuesday and Thursday are the days that I have next week. What kind of start time? Uh, for me, it would have to be the, the earliest I could do is 5.30. That's probably a good thing because I have the senior fair. <coughs> Excuse me, the senior fair down and shoots all day, so not having to rush out of there would be a good thing. Usually finish up a lot earlier than that, but you never know wherever you put together four or five hundred people. Yep. And five thirty or later for me. So Okay. So five thirty? Yeah, let's do five thirty. <laughs> we meet at five thirty, first interview at six or five forty five or something. Give us a few minutes first. Or or start right off? Probably 5.45. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Get in there. Yep. Anything else on that before we move into First Light and FERC? Mm, nope, that's all, all I've got. So, First Light and FERC uh, sent an email to the person at FERC that wrote the decision approving the license split. Um, I'm pretty sure that she's too high up in the food chain to be the right person to contact for getting actual useful information on what does this mean, what's the process for Carl Meyer's uh, request for the rehearing. hearing. Um, but in a couple of emails today between Kimberly McPhee and Andrea Donnellan, located the name of the person that handles Connecticut River and Hydro topics for FERC and the relicensing. So now I can take that email and, from Friday and send it off to the, the right person and hopefully get a better better response or a, any response. Where is that person located? Uh, still going to be probably D.C. Okay. based on the phone area code so and phone number. not someone in the area. No. And I think the person that, when I was talking to John earlier really today, I was trying to remember somebody at FERC that I knew I had talked to. And, um, one of the things I realized was looking through the emails, this process has been going on since 2012. It's I, I think it officially started at 13, right? That, Officially at 13, a, but the kickoff yeah. and the boat right. cruise was, was in fall, 12. Fall of 12. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> For the five-year process. Right, the five-year process was supposed to be 13 to 18. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other person I talked to, a couple of people, as far as potential ideas for legal representation or learning more about does legal representation make sense for some of our concerns? It started off with the town council, um, not something that she handles or knows much about as far as FERC goes. She referred me to the attorney that is working with our assessors on some first light issues um, related to appellate tax board. And 
when I talked to that attorney, she referred me to, to a company called BKC Law, which specializes in FERC-related stuff. So I've got a name there that I'll try and track down tomorrow. Okay. Just to describe to them what what our concerns are, where we are in the process, and see what they have to say. Okay. Keep digging. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Good work, right? I've got to give a shout out to Mike Jackson, the Montague Reporter for doing uh, the coverage on the interview with First Light person, last week's paper. Um, <laughs> if I, <laughs> yeah. sure. You can say thank you. And to Max, too, for his coverage on, on this whole thing. You know, he's, yeah. he's been there right through it. Um, there were a couple of points that I wanted to counter in that article. Of course, I didn't have the article with me and without that. I wanted to really sit down and, and um, jot down those points and, and um, come up with my rebuttal to them. But another interesting little aside on that is that in the same um, edition, there was the article on Montague getting a windfall of tax money from First Light. And that's really a settlement on, I, I, I really feel that Montague kind of shortchanged themselves in settling. And I just want to get out, get that, get that out there. And that was that. a settlement for, I missed that. So the I 2014. The assessments? Assessments. Okay. That yes, they're getting that money, but it's right. not as much, and I think it sets a really bad precedent for letting a corporation bully you around enough until you take less money than what you feel is you do. That's it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a roll. Keep going. So any questions on the first light FERC stuff or? Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold back. I don't, yeah, I wouldn't, I, I don't know how to respond because I, yeah. I don't know all the details of it. But. And I want to see the assessments and. And you'd be a good one to have a look at that with. Maybe, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been an assessor, but, but, you've been an assessor. <laughs> but I have been an assessor. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to maybe talk to Steve and find out if we, if we can find out anything more just about the situation, why they decided to settle. Yeah, I'll probably see him soon. So. Huh. I'm glad I planted the seed with you then. Yeah. Because I have not been an assessor, I would not be able to have a, a good educated discussion with him on that. I can imagine there was a whole lot of money tied up in overlay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the size, the size of the assessment yeah. or assessments in Montague, it's almost a 10 to 1 kind of yeah. comparison between Gill and in Montague. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? No questions from you guys? No. Fair enough. All right. Regional School District Planning Committee. Uh, following up on something that we did back in April, now that summer vacation is over, it's time to just put the plug out there again. Um, Gill and five other towns, Bernston, Leiden, Northfield, Warwick, and Montague, have all decided to form regional school district planning committees 
and well, naturally when you form a committee you're looking for volunteers. So for each town there are three members appointed by the moderator. One of the members has to be a representative from the school committee. So Gil is looking for anyone who's interested in serving on a committee that is going to study the feasibility, benefits, costs of a possible merger of the school systems, Gil Montague and Pioneer District. So if anyone is interested, they can get in contact with me, telephone, email, stop by in writing. Um, just for the sake of having some kind of deadline for people to act by, I've thrown out um, Thursday the 19th of this month. Not coincidentally, it's the same day of deadline for Montague's request for volunteers and people that are interested in applying there. Um, I think, I think uh, that's not usually what happens when I think, but, <laughs> 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 but when I do think, <laughs> Uh, no, I think there is a, uh, a meeting. It's either the 17th or the 19th. So I'm looking at this, and I'm wondering if it's the 19th that uh, uh, Michael Sullivan was trying to set up with civic leaders yep. around this issue. Um, we were kind of waiting to see what the other towns, but there were still some question marks about whether the other towns were going to pull through with this, and so it looks like they are. And, I might be interested in sitting. I'd like to see if anyone else. I mean, I'm not on a lot of. We're, we're all on a lot of committees right now. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I'm gonna maybe talk to Sullivan and see what the outlook is for the civic leaders in terms of meetings this year. If we're going to be having more or less of them, uh, knowing that this is sort of coming down the pipe, and uh, if it's less, then you know. And depending on if we're not seeing volunteers, then maybe I'll put my hat in the ring for that one. It looks like the date that was being floated was the 17th. Was it the 17th? Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was the 17th or the 19th. So, but, you know, if there's other people in town, it's always good to get other people involved, so. Although you'd make a good rep for that. Yeah. I, Thanks. I agree. That's why I'm not. I'm not saying no. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I nominate Greg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe what I'll do is I'll be in touch with you, Ray, and if you get if if you find that you're not getting any volunteers, so I'll I'll just call you periodically to check in before yeah. this deadline. And. Yeah, even if you do, just he can be ball and told. Ball and told. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one for a while. <laughs> Looks like we're just down to public service announcement. We're going to be under half hour for a meeting. Wow. Before we get to them, I just want to point out Triple E is really <laughs> a big problem in this county. So just a reminder to people, anything you got standing water around the yards, get rid mm. of it. Yeah. You don't want to have that attracting. So. And Triple E stands for what? Eastern, Eastern equine, equine encephalitis. Or as I like to prefer, Triple E. <laughs> Not to be confused with a big E. Right. Mm, this is a bigger E. Right. <laughs> Where the shore is up. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of public service announcements. Um, one we've mentioned two weeks ago, the Franklin County Solid Waste District Hazardous Waste Collection Day, Saturday, September 21st. And you do need to pre-register by September 16th. Um, registration forms are in the newspapers, they're online, they're at town hall, they're virtually everywhere. And then secondly, bulky waste collection, just to start 
planning ahead for that Saturday, October 19th, 9 a.m. to noon. Closest location for Gill residents is the Northfield Highway Garage up off of Route 142. I just thought of something. If we can move on to other business, if we're done with that. So. Sounds like we're done with that, so I will move on to other business. No, uh, just a question. We had talked about for uh, at least getting more financial information out to our residents. Um, you know, since we're still trying to get annual reports done and we haven't hired your yeah. assistant, which is long overdue at this point. Um, but we talked about having a web page maybe put up with those documents. It, it's, can we, I'm assuming we haven't yet oh, moved forward on no, it, but. It's all done. It is? There you, you go. Go to the annual reports you just page. Quiet, you just quietly did it, like you do so many things. Thank you. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes things are easy. Yeah, good. Well, thank you. That's great. So at least we can say we... So if people go to the annual reports page, they'll find it? They'll find They'll find, they'll find information, yeah. Yeah. especially annual, the financial annual information. Annual reports and schedule A's. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. Which is the financial stuff. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Thank good. you. Anything else from anybody? Oh, I got it. I guess that concludes the fun part of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you.